Well, there may not be many coronavirus cases in the United States at this point, but it's sure making Wall Street sick. Concerns over the illness led to a 1,000 point drop in the Dow. That's a 3.5% loss. We're pleased to have Deborah Carter joining us. She's the COO at 12 Points Wealth Management, and she's here to explain what all of this means to us. And Deborah, thanks for coming in. So, yesterday's bludgeoning on Wall Street. Is it all related to the coronavirus? You know, I think there are multiple factors here. We expect volatility before a, an election, so we're mm -hmm. experiencing some of that. There's lack of clarity in terms of what policies are going to be coming our way um, with the next election and who's going to be the front runner. Um, so there's a lot of undetermined pieces there. And the coronavirus is, we've only been hearing about it for about the past month, yeah. and there haven't even been financial indicators yet to tell us, give us some indication of what's happening here. So when people so. point to the coronavirus and its concern on the economy, what, what in particular is the issue there? Just the ties that manufacturing has and other businesses to, ch to China, essentially? Well, it's productivity, and it's productivity perhaps all over the world, depending on how this spreads, and it's also supply <coughs> chain. So it's multiple factors. Many people here can work from home, but those are certain industries. It's not everybody, so it, there is going to be if there's, you know, sequestering, um, mm -hmm. some some slowdown there. So Sh should we expect this sort of to continue? Are we on a, a trend now, a downward trend? You know, if I had my crystal ball, <laughs> <laughs> I know we would all like to know that. Right? I would love to answer that for you. You know, I think it's just we're looking for um, we're looking for you know coronavirus vaccine would be helpful at this point, but who knows how far along that is right. and how much this is going to spread. I think there have been a lot of efforts to containment, but we just don't know. Yeah, if the numbers start to go down in terms of how many people are affected with coronavirus, that might certainly help. But but for the average investor, they got a 401k, maybe a retirement plan. They hear these numbers and they're in a full scale panic. What advice do you have to just to the to the regular investor who's who's a little bit worried about what's going on here? You know, I'd say hold steady. We've been looking for a market correction for a while. We've been expecting something to be happening. Um, and how long it lasts, we're unsure. But for the retail investor, I think it's a matter of staying to course, really understanding what your goals are, what your money needs to do for you, and then looking around, do I need to do anything right now, or can I hold steady and stay where I am? And, and the goals part of that, should you be paying more attention to what's going on now? If you are closer to retirement, say, five, ten years out, and maybe somebody's got more time to invest. Does that affect your thinking? You know, it sure it does. It, uh, you know, time horizon is one of the factors that we take into account. And our, at our boutique firm, we really are looking at our clients' goals and their objectives and what is their timeline? How mm -hmm. much cash do they have on hand? What are their needs? When are they going to start drawing from the portfolio? So those things are also so individual and so specific, it's mm -hmm. hard to make a, a recommendation. But I would say, you know, getting true to what you need. What about looking at this as a buying opportunity? Depending, Absolutely. On, yeah, some people look at this drop and say, "Hey, time to get in and make some, make some, get some deals out there." Yeah, and I think it's a matter of cash on hand. Great, this is a buying opportunity. How long it lasts, who knows? Right. Um, but I think you know, if there is dry powder and you've got some cash to invest, it's definitely an opportunity. And, but I wouldn't recommend that people necessarily start, you know, liquidating things because then you're you're gathering those lower prices and. Um, that's not necessarily the well, best. Well, we'll see what happens action. today. Dow futures have been kind of up and down. So right. uh, we won't know till the bell rings and then see what today brings. Ex so absolutely. Deborah Carter, thanks so much for your time this morning, Deborah. Thanks appreciate for having it. me. I appreciate okay. it. Let's get Sarah.